If you're only interested in the cosplay pictures uh, that I took, go to the time that I've listed below, but uh, I'll give a quick review of my experience at KomoriCon this year as well as what I purchased from the marketplace. Uh, I'm happy to say that the 2023 KomoriCon was much more organized than last year. The line for badge pickup still took over an hour, but there was no COVID check line this time, and the staff and volunteers were uh, much more prepared than they were last year in almost every aspect. Uh, this year they put tape on the floor indicating where lines should form so people would line up in an orderly fashion for panels. And this goes double for the cosplay contest where they had multiple staff dictating where to line up so that there was no confusion. Uh, I feel as though the organizers learned a lot from last year and uh, because of that this year's KomoriCon was so much better for it. Uh, some of the panels that I attended were the Anime Jeopardy as well as the Celebrity Anime Jeopardy which for me are always fun to test your knowledge and maybe learn a thing or two that you didn't already know. We went to an idol festival, which my wife really wanted to attend as she had bought some uh, pen light glow stick things, and we had a lot of fun waving those around to the beat of the music uh, and the performers. The cosplay contest, of course, was, as in my opinion, is a must-go to any event at any convention to see all the cool competitive cosplays, skits, and performances. Uh, we went to a panel about anxiety when cosplaying or just attending a con in general, and it was a very interesting panel that I would recommend anyone uh, attend should there be any similar panels. As I'm sure a vast majority of people, myself included, experience anxiety when cosplaying. The last panel that I went to was a Honkai Star Rail Meet the Voice Actors panel, which had Alejandre Saab, who voices Jing Wan, Danny, Danny Chambers, who voices Arlen, and Howard Wing, who voices Luca. I just started playing that game like a month or so ago and absolutely love it, so I just had to go to it. The panel was really cool because all three of them played the game quite a bit and knew a lot about it to discuss with the audience. Getting into what I, what I bought while I was there, starting with the three patches of Pumpkaboo Spice Latte, Summoning Society, and Cosplay Contestant, all Pokemon that I find absolutely adorable, as well as all three pins that somewhat match the patches with the exception of Phantom instead of a Mimikyu pin. Under those I got the blue lock playing cards which I had to get since I was cosplaying Isagi the first day, which later turned out just to be a generic blue lock guy because I'm no good at wings so I just went with my regular hair the last two days. I got a Shin Megami uh, lanyard to hold my weekend pass, and the last two items on the table there I didn't actually buy as they were given to me. The Lapras Pokemon card I got from someone that was just walking around letting people pick out a random card from their hands, which they say they do at every con, which is really cool. And then the Kaiba Corp ribbon I got from a Kaiba cosplayer that you'll see a picture of later, uh, which they said was their business card, which is one of the coolest things that I ever received at a con before. Getting into the cosplay pictures now, there were a ton of cool cosplays that I saw and tried to take as many pictures as I could. Sometimes my anxiety got the better of me when asking for pictures, but I did get quite a few, like 40 or so. So if you see yourself, feel free to tag yourself in the comments below, link any socials, whatever you'd like. But without further ado, here are the pictures.